Hey guys, it's Target here coming at you with another NHL 13 Be a GM Oilers. Uh, we're in the Stanley Cup Finals now. We're playing the New York Islanders. This is year five, our final year. We won the Stanley Cup last year. Were we the favorites to make the playoffs again this year? Or story to win the Stanley Cup this year? I don't know and I don't think so. Sorry guys, give me one sec. Sorry about that. I don't think that we necessarily were the favorites to come back, but we're back. And we're back better than ever, I think. Let's take a look at our lines and how we compare with the New York Islanders. They don't have the same production that we have. Not nearly even close. Um, let's pop over to New York. All right, so the top line we have. Like, we've got the best top line out of the two. Uh, the second line, yeah, we got them beat too because we got an 86 and 84 and an 82. So we got them beat there. Third line... They might have the edge on us on that a little bit, um, just on the wingers. And third line, they might have the edge a little bit there too. It's pretty close. That's pretty close, the last two lines. Defense, we have the top line beat. We have the second line beat. Third line, they have us beat. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's take a look at our goaltending situation. We've got the goaltending beat, no doubt about it. That may be the story in this one, is our, offense, our top two lines and then their goaltending. Um, that could be the story. See, because if you look at the, let's take a look at the stats. Do they, their highest scorer is Matt Molson with six goals. And then we've got Jordan Eberle, who's got the most for us. Uh, before we begin this one, I want to take a look at uh, the playoff tree and see exactly, you know, the, the team stories. Let's take a look at how, who they beat to get there. So in the first round, the Islanders played Boston and beat them in with four, four games to three. Uh, they were the four or five seeds, respectively. So that was a close one. They then played Santa, uh, Pittsburgh, a big team in Pittsburgh, but they finished in seventh this year. They beat them four to three. In the final one, they played Buffalo. Buffalo, the eight seeded team, went all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals, and they beat them four to three. So they've played a lot of games. They've played every game that they possibly could at this point. The Oilers have gotten better as the series went on. They started with a four three win over Anaheim in a nail biting game, uh, game seven, where it went to the overtime. And Jason Spetz ended up finishing it off. In the second round, they played the Stars, beating them 4-1. Uh, in the final round, the Oilers played, uh, sorry, beating them 4-2. Uh, in the, the third round, the Western Conference Finals, they played Colorado, and they beat them 4-1. So, if the series continued the way it is, the Oilers should sweep the New York Islanders. But, I just want to win the Stanley Cup. I don't care how we do it. I just care that it gets done. So let's go for a repeat, boys. We got home ice advantage. Game one of the Stanley Cup Finals in Edmonton. First period, 1-1. Jordan Eberle scores the first period of the Stanley Cup, first goal of the Stanley Cup Finals on Rick DiPietro, who's starting for some reason. Uh, Michael Grabner scores on John Gibson. Second period, no goals in that period. They're always out shooting the Islanders by seven right now. Third period, to take first game. Come on, boys. Oh, it's tied. Matt Molson and Sergei Gogolev both score. Uh, Gogol have scored early. Uh, Molson responded late, their leading goal scorer. We go to overtime now in game one, first period. There he, or overtime winner, Antoine Vermet in the first OT. He puts the Oilers over top of the Islanders, and they win 3-2. to two. That's awesome. Great. We now have a one-game lead. We won our first game. We're up one to nothing in the series. Oh, we got to have just some scouting here. I like playing from above. I don't like playing from behind because that's it's too much work. Uh, anybody? There's a top five defenseman right there. Let's check our forwards again and see if there's anybody else in here. That's top ten. Top ten. Those top five goalies. Top ten. We're missing. There's a top five. Where's the other top five? We're missing a top five. Oh, there he is. Right there. Oh, no. That's the same guy. Okay. Uh, who else do we have when we scouted here? Like, nobody? Everybody's been scouted? Okay, so let's check forwards. Let's go back to the WHL. We haven't scouted them since. We'll send you out there for a month. We gotta get back to the playoffs, So We gotta get back to the playoff action here. Game two. In Edmonton still. First period. 2 nothing. The Islanders take a big lead over the O's in that one. Uh, Jokinen and Grabner both score. Second period. Oilers need to bounce back here. They do. They got one. Taylor Hall scored on Poulin, uh, who's back in net for the Islanders. For some reason, he started the 
second game and not the first. I don't know why. All right, third period. The O's need to tie it up here. Come on, guys. Pull it out. They can't. Oh, Yakupov scored early, but you know what? The onslaught then began, scoring three goals the Islanders did in the third period. 1-1 one, one the series now. 1-1 one, one the series. Back to New York. Or not back, but we're heading off to New York now. Uh, the Oilers look to get, take to game three. They look to take game three here. First period. No goals. No goals at all. Second period. Two goals for the Islanders. John Tavares and Martin both score. Oh, no. This is not looking good right now. Oilers don't want to give up the lead to the Islanders. Sec uh, third period. Come on, boys. Tie it up. They can't. They get shut out in New York who at this point are probably playing in Brooklyn. Should be Brooklyn. All right. Game four in New York. Oilers want to take this one now. First period. one nothing. Six Sikas? <laughs> Scores on John Gibson. Second period, guys. Come on. 3-1. There you go. That's the answer you want. Jordan Eberle, Jason Spetswa. Sp Spetswa. <laughs> I'm tripping over my tongue here. And uh, Jason Spetswa and Antoine Vermette all score in the second. Third period. 3-1 the final. The Oilers dominated on the shot clock. 12 more shots than the Islanders. So Poulin came up huge. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't get a star for that. All right, guys. We go to game five. Back in Edmonton now. The Oilers can take a 3-2 game lead right now with this win. First period. Here we go. First period. The Oilers score first. Jordan Eberle on Kevin Poulin. Second period. Come on, boys. Take another. Get another one in there. It's 2-0. Jason Spezza scores. 2-0. The Oilers lead. Third period. 3-0. Jordan Eberle scores his second of the game. <coughs> Pardon me. Scores his second of the game to give the Oilers a 3-2 lead in this series. We go now to New York. We go to New York. The Oilers ready to take this one. Here we go. First period. Oh, let me get in here. In New York. First period. 1-1. Matt Molson scores after Antoine Vermette scored really, really early. 53 seconds in. Second period. 2-1. Now Yakupov scores on Kevin Poulin. The Oilers now have a lead going into the third period. We're going to... Oh, hold on. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Uh, resume. I want to get it to four times. There you go. Every 30 seconds. We're going to jump in in a minute. If the Oilers have this lead. Come on, guys. We need to score this. Come on. Get one for insurance. There it is. Justin Hodgman late in the third. Oh, and Jason Spencer scores two. We're counting down now. We're going to go in at the minute mark. There it is. There's the minute mark. We're going in. The Oilers poised to win their second Stanley Cup in a row. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to... I will, you know what, I'm not going to play as the Oilers yet. Uh, no, you know what, I'll get in there. I'll get in there and uh, at the last second I'll switch to the controller so you guys can watch the celebration in year five because if you don't have a team controlled, it just uh, it just goes. So, uh, we want this. We want to see the, the intro. Okay, so what I'll do is... I'm just going to pause it there for a second. There you go. Uh, we're going to go to settings. Controller settings. Oh, wait, sorry. Select sides. Select sides. Different area. Select sides. We're going to put a neutral. Yes. Yes. That's fine. I don't care. And right at the la like, last final play of the game, we'll pause it and we'll control the Oilers. Uh, let's finish watching this game, though, here. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, he ties him up. Tyler Hall throws a shot on net, but it's a big save. Is it pulling in net still, or is it DiPietro? I think it's DiPietro. 4-1, to the Oilers lead. Oh, big John Gibson with a huge save in that one. Ryan Jones with the puck. Doesn't feed an open Hall who had some ice in front of him. That was an odd play. How much time left in this period now? 36 seconds and counting. We're counting down. We'll play the final 10 seconds of this period. We're 28 seconds left. Penalty coming to the Oilers. Uh, what is it? Roughing? Who is that? Is that is that Gogolev? Is that big Gogolev? Yeah, it's big Gogolev. 
Six foot ten, two hundred and forty pounds, Sergey Gogolev. Knock it around the bodies now. All right. The Islanders now. And he wins the face off. John Tavares is a hard one to beat. Oh, got deflected. Some hits going on there. We're getting ready to take over so we can watch the celebration here, guys. John Gibson will cover up. And you know what? That's a good time as any to jump in here. Um, and uh, select our side as the Oilers. Maybe we'll even score one just for the hell of it. We'll see if we can score one with 14.3 seconds left. We'll watch the cutscenes. John Gibson had a great, great playoff. Oh, what a save. Good control, good control. All right, we got Jason Spezza and Taylor Hall now. Jason Spezza to take the face off. He wins it. Up to Hall. Up to, up to Spezza. Up to Spezza. There he is. Jason Spezza. Slap shot. Oh, big save by Puin. We'll cover it up. 3.9 seconds left, guys. The Oilers are ready to win this one. Let's see if we can win this face off and maybe get a little bit of a, a shot for Hall. And it goes to no one. But that doesn't matter. The Oilers have won the Stanley Cup for the second year in a row, guys. Four games to two. Unbelievable. I couldn't have asked for a better finish to this uh, be a GM. Uh, it started off rough. First year and second. First year we made the playoffs. We made the playoffs every year, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we did. That's not too bad. But we won the Stanley Cup in year four and year five. Uh, I couldn't have asked for a better result. I couldn't have asked for a better result. Do I think that the Oilers could definitely have gotten a little bit better? Yeah, I think that our team could have been way better. Uh, John Gibson got the con smite for that. Big win for the Oilers. Good job, guys. Good job. Player, congratulations on this con smite win. Yeah, now we'll get to actually watch them skate around the ice a little bit. Watch a little bit of a celebration. Uh, yeah, I think that we could have seen, like, Taylor Hall and Ryan Nugent Hopkins should have been already way better by year five. You know, Nugent Hopkins only made it to an 84 and Hall made it to an 86, and that's not good enough. I need them to be 90s, you know, both of them. And I think that we never would have had to make that trade for Jason Spezza if we had that op that kind of development. You know, we also had poor development in uh, Josh Morrissey. But, like, we drafted him at a 56 after the first year. So through years two, three, and four, that's three seasons. He only went up three overall. That's ridiculous. That's one overall a season for a four and a half, four and a half star player. You know, it's not like like I had control over the, the second and third seasons because he played in juniors. He should be developing on his own. I shouldn't have to do anything. But for whatever reason, you know, he just never got there. He never got to the player that we wanted to. Uh, somebody said we should have taken Pollock, and we should have taken Pollock, but I didn't know at the time. I will know in the future that that's the case. There's the team. There's the celebration, guys. Awesome. That's great. Two years in a row, we win the Stanley Cup. That's what I wanted from this team. That's what I got. Let's take a look at the three stars for the game. John Gibson, first star. Now Yakubov, second. And uh, Jason Spezza, the third star. Jason Spezza was a big pickup for us. It made a huge difference on that top line. They were actually able to produce all three of them and contribute all three of them offensively uh, to our cause. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Uh, that's it for this one. When we come back in our next episode, we're going to be wrapping things up. And uh, we're then going to be, you know, pushing forward to our next Via GM. So, you know, we're almost there. We're almost on our next Via GM where I'm going to get you guys to vote. But we're actually going to wrap things up on the next one. And uh, just kind of go over the performance of the last four, five years and see how we did. And you guys can kind of rate me on how you think I did on leading this Oilers team to begin, become a, a franchise that is respectable in the NHL. All right, guys. Until next time, I'm Target Audience. You guys have a good one.